I am Dr. Samir Parikh, currently attached to Leelawati Hospitals. I have done my MBBS, MD and DM in Gastroenterology from Nair Hospital in Bombay University. Today I will be discussing about Viral Hepatitis. Let us first understand what is Viral Hepatitis and what are its different types. Hepatitis means it is the inflammation of the liver tissue. This inflammation can be produced by viral disorders, by drinking alcohol, by consuming drugs, autoimmune liver disorders, infections and sometimes hypoxic hepatitis can produce liver inflammation. Viral hepatitis can occur because of hepatotropic viruses which include hepatitis A, B, C, D and E. But other viruses like cytomegaloviruses, HIV virus, Epstein Barr virus can also produce liver diseases though they are like minor infections. Globally hepatitis B affects approximately 240 million people of which 40 million are in India. HCB infects approximately 12 to 18 million people are in India and we have Hepatitis B and C which are transmitted through parenteral route that means by blood, blood products, by sexual routes, by homosexualities, by multiple heterosexual partners, by hemodialysis machines. Mother can infect babies in hepatitis B. The incidence of fulminant hepatic failure is approximately 1% with HBV. But the major problem with hepatitis B virus is that it produces chronic liver disease. So only the age of infection, the higher is the risk of developing chronicity. When you develop a chronic hepatitis, that means the liver inflammation is over six months of duration and it, it can lead to development of compensated liver cirrhosis, decompensation, development of hepatocellular cancer, need of liver transplantation, often death related to HBV infection. Similarly, hepatitis C virus can produce chronicity, though much higher rate of approximately 70 to 80 percent once you acquire an HCV infection. This is also transmitted parenterally. The other hepatitis A and E virus occur in a sporadic form in, in Asian countries. A usually infects uh, children and young adults of less than 20 years of age, whereas E usually infects people who are above the age of 20 years. Both A and E virus are transmitted by fecal-oral contamination. So if you drink water which is not safe, if you eat food which is contaminated, you can get hepatitis A and E infections. Both these viruses usually produce only acute liver disease. They produce jaundice, they produce prodromal symptoms of anorexia, nausea, vomiting, but most often in about two to three months you will recover. E virus is dangerous if it affects pregnant females and it can produce fulminant liver cell failure in pregnancy in the last trimester. So pregnant women have to be very careful in what they eat, what they drink. The most important screening test for the diagnosis of hepatitis B virus is the detection of hepatitis B surface antigen. And the most confirmatory test for the presence of virus within an individual is the quantitative PCR test which is considered as the gold standard for identifying hepatitis B virus. This is important for us to identify because you don't only want to know that the patient suffers from hepatitis, you want to know which virus is affecting the patient and you also want to appropriately treat these patients. You have NTHCV which is an ELISA test which is an important test to identify that the patient is exposed to. HCV RNA test is also now done by PCR techniques. The qualitative, quantitative, genotyping all help you to determine the form of therapy, the drug of therapy. So the things have advanced considerably in HCV uh, therapy formats. Similarly, you have tests available for hepatitis A virus infection which includes IgM anti-HAV, a marker of acute hepatitis and you have a total anti-HAV which is which is a marker of past infection. E-virus has a test called as IgM anti-HAV which tells you about the acute infection with the hepatitis E-virus. So you have lab tests available, you have modes of transmission known, you have therapies available. So what is most important is early diagnosis and the treatment and a 
correct consultations with the gastroenterologist and hepatologist. So if you have a prodromal symptoms of nausea, vomiting, distaste to food, distaste to smoking, please consult the doctor immediately. So for B virus, if you are not vaccinated, please consult the doctor and get yourself vaccinated. For C virus, having safe water, safe parenteral roots can prevent you against uh, hepatitis C virus infection. And just drinking safe water and having well-cooked food can protect you against A and E infection. Thank you.